What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, back to another video. And in today's video, um, I wish I could say we're working on the Supra. I mean, we got the curtain bags in there, we got the headliner all back in there. I mean, other than that, we're just pretty much missing the seat belts and take this thing to get a quote on the, the, the side damage. I mean, as far as the car really goes, um, we just need to figure out how bad this damage is. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad in my personal opinion. Even when checking, opening up the door, everything seems to be lining up perfectly fine over here. Um, the only damage is honestly caused by the door. Like, there's no actual hit anywhere else other than the door itself and the door pushed everything in so honestly to me it doesn't look as bad as it actually looks but I have to take it to a professional and have them kind of diagnose what needs to be done and what doesn't need to be done because I'm either thinking to order the skin directly from Toyota um, and then having the whole skin just replaced on this entire side uh, but it possibly could be a lot deeper than that and we need to actually get one that's chopped off another car and replace the whole piece. We need to get this thing in driving order and we can technically drive it right now. There's no issues driving it but for my personal safety I prefer to wait to drive this until I get the seatbelts in there, clear the airbag lights so if anything happens while I'm driving the airbags will still deploy. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting on the seat buckles once you get that in honestly there, there should be no airbag light that being said we are still looking for a new tow rig we've done a lot of toes at this bad boy and it just looks crazy I me mean, shout out to rough country for partnering with me on this truck i mean it looks so 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 good with the rough country wheels rough country tires the bull bar a bunch of awesome things on this thing um i absolutely love it i mean i love this truck but end of the day i want something that's a little bit newer with more technology as much as i love this truck it is an 04 um it doesn't have backup assist uh, backup assist or any of those extra tow packages that would make it a lot easier to tow make it more convenient i'm not a professional driver like i said by all means so having a truck with more options 360 camera would just make this thing a whole lot easier to drive now when i say all this stuff is it necessary no but would i like it yes and for the price i could possibly get for this because it went up a lot in value i think i can get a newer tie-in or possibly even a newer truck for just like a couple grand over so um i mean a couple grand i mean at least like 10 g's but i mean like that's not bad especially if you get a finance build my credit pay less than like 200 a month um it's not bad. I'm not actually going for any of those crazy trucks like I saw in the other videos. Um, well, you guys saw in the other videos. It was kind of like the spur of the moment type of situation. You go over there, you see the platinum, you're like, wow, I want a platinum. But no, no. Realistically, no, you just need a truck that does the job, but something that's more reliable with a warranty. Um, and that's something this one does not have. And it's always stressful to tow with a, a truck without warranty, mainly because if you blow up transmission or engine, you're going to have to pay out of pocket, especially hauling. You're, you're, you run the risk of blowing your transmission. So getting a newer truck, getting it under the Nissan warranty or getting it under the Toyota warranty, warranty Toyota warranty or even Ford and getting it under the Ford warranty you have a 10 year warranty when you buy through them for engine and transmission everything else is not covered but I mean the main things are the engine and transmission and I want that peace of mind so yes from the title of the video we are selling my truck but not just yet I want to make this thing super clean a lot of people sell their truck and they just kind of like take pictures of it in the current condition this is really 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 dirty I want to do tire shot on the tires I want to clean up the entire car clean up the interior clean up the engine bay clean up every little piece on this truck so when we actually take pictures of it um um, people are more likely to buy it something I've been working on honestly guys is this little LED button I got this off of eBay um the one that came with this car is this guy right over here it's cool and all it works this is the rough country one right here I like it it's been using it's been great for a long period of time but I would love if the button was right here reason I'm still doing this even though I'm selling the truck is because hey if I don't get the right price for this truck I'm not selling it it's an amazing truck it still does the job I just prefer something uh, like within a warranty but if I'm not getting the right price I don't care about the warranty I'm not selling this truck for super cheap um, that being said I still want to install this bun I'm probably still gonna install a backup camera pretty soon um, and again if it sells it sells if it doesn't sell I'm, I'm still using this truck on the daily so I got this button off of eBay and I think it's gonna look so good right over here it's gonna actually have a functional LED button bar none of these wires are gonna show it's gonna look a lot better than this just kind of sitting here and, like you know on the driver's side I like the whole clean look so let's go ahead and uh, try to figure out the wiring here and just get that plugged in because I want that to just look OEM. And after getting all of this situated, moment of truth, guys. Yeah, buddy, is it working? It's working. So yeah, guys, I really wanted this to work mainly because this just looks way more OEM than this. And I have to stick this 3M like right on the side or whatever. I just didn't like the way it looked. Let me go ahead and clean up all this stuff so I'll show you guys what I mean. And just like that, guys, that OEM finish. Oh my God, let me go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Now that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go in and start with the interior of the car. I want to get everything out of here, get everything cleaned up so we can take some beautiful pictures. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to clean up every little detail. So for those of you guys who are wondering how I clean my cars, I'm not a professional, but I'm going to show you guys how I do it.
Guys, I think I'm gonna leave the next owner some goodies. I have a vest in there for like co-part trips, um, some straps down there, um, and a bigger strap right over here. That's something I really like about this tie. Not all of them have them. The Ellie has it. And it's like a little storage compartment that you can key lock it right over here. Like how sick is that? I don't, I don't even think most trucks even have these in the newer ones. Just like that guys we got all the windows cleaned up we got the wheels cleaned up we gonna put tire shine on it clean up the whole paint job on this thing the running boards and everything I did step on this a little bit so don't mind that but for the most part guys this thing is super clean super happy with this we also got the clean setup for the LED bar I'm really happy about that as well like, again if I don't end up selling this thing at least we got it pretty much really nice for myself that's a lot I'm dipping out right now <laughs> but yeah guys I'm actually in that situation like after cleaning it again every time I clean a car I'm like do I want to sell it the thing is if it gets the right offer it's worth it if it does it I'm keeping it it looks really 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 good we did a lot of custom modifications to this thing like an Aza steering wheel which no other Nissan Titan in this year has the steering wheel I had to do a custom order on this from Aza no one else makes it we have the the rough country floor mats the rough country running board we have the rough country tires <laughs> which looks super good these are the off-roading tires and then the rough country wheels uh rough country front bull bar with LED light the rough country adjustable ball hitch thingy McBomber and obviously we have the big lift kit the six inch lift kit um, from rough country as well that that thing was the biggest game changer for this truck it makes it look so much better guys I've been trying to fix this for the longest time you guys can see I've been trying to get it off with a razor blade and all that stuff it just doesn't want to come off and it took me like literally an hour to get it in this condition um, the rest of them all look like that in terrible shape um, so I've been trying to look for those pieces but the only person that sells it on eBay is asking like $400 um, which is ridiculous there's no one parting out Nissan Titans like this truck if there's any parts on eBay they sell quick mainly because when things break um, there's not much part outs and people want the parts like for example I was trying to get a seat for this truck for the longest time because I hate the fact that I have a tear in my seat um, but these seats are going for $800 on eBay the truck is not worth to spend $800 on a seat one seat 
for this truck. So uh, yeah, I just decided to just deal with it. But yeah, other modifications we have is that touchscreen Bluetooth radio, um, just some blacked out door handles we ended up adding. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this thing, guys, is also the SL model V8. So I mean, not the SL, the LE 4x4. So this is probably the most fully loaded Nissan Titan for the year. That's why when I got it, I was super happy. We had the backup sensors, um, adjustable pedal, uh, tow package, all that good stuff. Even spray and bed liner. These are the adjustable uh, like things you can add. You can add kind of like hooks so you can strap it down from any angle. So that's super cool that it comes with this truck from like from the factory. Comes with leather seats because that's what the uh, LE package also comes with. And also not to mention, like I said, the adjustable pedal, which I think is super sick for the year. Backup sensor, cargo lamp, four by four system, tow mode. But yeah, guys, that is gonna have to conclude the video. I'm just getting the truck ready. Uh, there's nothing really too crazy about it. Uh, I'm gonna take some pictures, probably throw in some pictures in the end of this video just for the heck of it, just to show you guys how we ended up making this thing look with just a little bit of elbow grease, about two or three hours worth of detailing and cleaning. Um, obviously, detailers spend about 10 hours trying to make it absolutely perfect. I kind of kind of just did, not the bare minimum. I think I did a pretty decent job uh, for what it is. But yeah, I just throw in some pictures for the heck of it and uh, let me know how I did. But without further ado, guys, that's gonna have to conclude the video. Hopefully, this thing sells pretty quickly so we get a new tow rig on the channel. I think it'd be super dope. And hopefully, in the next video, I actually have a small modification. I wanna do the E92M3, um, which hopefully is gonna be taking place in the next video. Again, we're just still waiting on those seat belts. We'll take care of that hopefully when the time comes. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.